when you look at gorillas, you feel like you're connecting. And I believe that when people visit gorillas, they just see so many similarities between them and us. When I look at gorillas, I feel that they are very majestic and powerful, but at the same time they are they're very vulnerable because they are so few in number. Gladys was a young vet. She was the first female wildlife vet. She was lively, enjoyed her work, and very innovative and had good ideas. Her career at OA, she had an opportunity to identify a key problem or area of zoonotic diseases. We share over 98% genetic material with gorillas and chimpanzees and can easily make each other sick. And that was one of the main reasons we set up conservation through public health. Conservation through public health is a unique organization. CTPH is in partnership with the Uganda Wildlife Authority, purposely to promote the gorilla health. First of all, we follow the gorillas. We collect gorilla fecal samples brought here to the lab for analysis. And in case we find any alarming situation, then it's the role and responsibility of CTPH to advise the park for decision making. She has helped to increase the numbers of mountain gorillas. And when they are treating mountain gorillas or any other animals still in the forest, they also move an extra mile to see where the problem could have originated from. She has also helped the community to control disease transmission from one home to another home. We really try to sensitize the communities to understand about the diseases. We carry group health stocks, which promotes population health and environment. And that's why we are able to register lots of successes in Bwindi. We realized that many people were unhealthy because they were poor, and part of the reason they were poor is that they had too many children that they couldn't look after. So we realized that family planning is something that really fed into our whole reason why we started CTPH. So one of the aims of conservation through public health is to take a look at improving the livelihoods of people in and around protected areas of Africa. And this led us to start Gorilla Conservation Coffee, which buys coffee at a premium from farmers living in sub-counties bordering Windy. This is Arabic. I used to do hunting within the, the park. Now I grow coffee. Working with CTPH is good. We have benefited much from them. Also, I can get money to pay school fees for my children. So the life of the people around the community is now changing. Gladys is very passionate and persistent and sincere, caring for the animals and for human health, and I've seen results in what she's doing. We feel proud. The benefits received from the words, the donations, and so on, comes back to the country to improve the livelihood of Ugandans. I want to make sure that the wildlife is there for future generations. I also want to make sure that the people living next to the wildlife appreciate the wildlife and feel that this is for us, this is our future. Because without their support, the wildlife can't survive. <laughs>